Hi there, welcome back to Skydia.com. Today we're going to be learning about the superior aperture of the thorax. So, what are the learning objectives of today? We want to know the boundaries of the superior aperture. And we need to know the structures that are related to the superior aperture of the thorax. For example, structures that pass from the neck or the upper limb into the thorax and that may pass from the thorax into the neck or the upper limb. Here we've outlined the boundaries of the superior aperture of the thorax. And when we say we want to know the structures entering from the neck or the upper limb into the thorax, so some of the structures will be going in like this. And some will be going in like this. Other structures will be going in like this. Okay, so here are some basic points that we need to understand when describing the superior aperture of the thorax. So the superior aperture is also known as the thoracic inlet. This over here. And it is the superior narrow end of the thorax, which is continuous with the neck. Okay. And it slopes antro inferiorly. So we'll see that in a bit. It is shaped like a kidney, as you can see here. The antro posterior diameter is about five to seven centimeters. And the lateral diameter may be 10 to 12 centimeters. Okay, so let's now talk about the boundaries. Here we can see the rib cage as well. If you look closely, we can see that anteriorly we have the acromioclavicular joint on the left and right side. You can't really see the clavicle on this one, but you can see it over here. And we also have the manubrium sterni. So the upper border of the manubrium sterni, right here. So posteriorly, we have the superior surface of the body of the thoracic vertebra. So this is the first thoracic vertebra. And laterally, left and right, we have the left and right first rib with its costal cartilage. Here is the costal cartilage. And there we go. How's that? Now, when we talk about the plane of the superior aperture, the plane of the inlet is directed downwards and forwards with an obliquity of approximately 45 degrees. So as you can see, this is the plane of the superior aperture as it's going through here. And this is the 45 degree angle. Now when we see it in this image, you can see it in, in veto. The anterior part of the inlet lies 3.7 centimeters below the posterior part. So this is the anterior part and this is the posterior part. And as you can see, this length here is 3.7 centimeters. We can see it here as well. And the upper border of the manubrium sterni lies at the level of the upper border of the T3 vertebra. So as you can see here, we have T1, T2, and T3. So this is the upper border of the T3 vertebra. So now you can see how the plane of the superior aperture of the thorax is antro-inferior. 
So the structures that are passing through the superior aperture, we're going to be discussing them a little bit in more detail. So when we talk about these structures, we're concerned primarily about everything that crosses through here. And as we discussed, those structures that are passing into the inlet and those structures that are coming out of the inlet. And when we talk about these structures, so we're not only concerned with that antero-inferior plane that we discussed about in the previous slide, we're going to be talking about any structures that are probably around this area. So those structures, so if we have blood vessels, for example, and they're starting to branch off, as you can see here. So we want, we want to know about all of the structures that are, that are coming out from the blood vessels like this and something like this. And we want to know what structures are lying just in the plane. So like we have the thymus over here. This way we'll be discussing all of the viscera that are passing through, such as the trachea. And so let's get into a little bit of more detail. Here is a list of all of the structures passing through the superior aperture. As you can see, I'm not going to go through the list. You can read it yourself. We have um, viscera, like the trachea, esophagus, the ap apices of the lungs with pleura, and the remains of the thymus. And we have the large blood vessels, the smaller blood vessels, some muscles, and here are all the nerves.